Okay, let's start with the functional categories of joints. Um, this is going to be related to the structural categories, which I'll do in the next video relating the two. But first, functional, this is going to be based on the amount of movement that the joint can do. So functional classifications. The first one is going to be little movement. These are called synarthrosis. Um, arth arthrosis is singular. If we were going to talk about plural, it would be synarthroses. That's plural. That's true for all of these to make them plural. So synarthrosis refers to a joint with no movement. This means nearly immobile. Example of this would be the sutures of the skull. Oops, sutures as shown here. Th those two skull bones do not move um, relative to each other or um, right there, the, the suture is making them stay together, immobile. Oops, ampiarthroses. These joints have some movement. So not freely movable like your knee, um, but some flexibility. So examples of these include your intervertebral discs between the vertebrae of your spine and the pubis symphysis, which connects the two pelvic bones together. In both of those cases, there is some mobility. Your pelvis, um, the two bones have some flexibility. Your back, it's part of what allows um, your back to, to bend and be flexible, but it's limited, right? Because we want to be able to protect those. We're not moving them like, like this. Okay. Amphiar, amph amphi, like amphipathic. So it refers to both. Um, so both is in kind of a middle ground between movement and no movement. The last category is diarthrosis. Diarthroses for plural. This, these are freely movable. Right? These are all synovial joints. Synovial joints is the um, structural classification, but in this case, it corresponds um, completely. They're referring to different things. The names are synovial joints refer to the fact they have synovial fluid. Talk more about in the next video. Diarthrosis refers to the movement specifically, but all synovial joints are diarthroses. These would be all the joints you, kind of, you think of, knee, hip, elbow, shoulder, but also all the joints in your fingers, um, your mandible, so that's your temporomandibular joint, you have a sacroiliac joint, lots of other joints that are freely movable. They can vary in how mobile they are based on the type that we'll get into um, in a separate video on synovial joints.